all right welcome back guys well a disappointing night in texas um jamaica lost that shootout um if you want to put it in, um, in a nice way <laughs> nicest way i can put it really a game of two halves um i wouldn't say it was a great first half but it was a really poor second half um I can only shake my head and just say there's just more questions and answers at this point. Like I said earlier um, in a podcast or in a show, whichever way, way you want to call it, we are basically taking a mock, mock exam for the World Cup qualifiers. And if I was supposed to grade us, I'd give us an E or a D minus at best. If I was supposed to grade a coach, I'd give him an F point blank. If I was supposed to grade the players, I'd give them probably a D as well. Majority of the team. There are probably four players or five players that stood out during this whole um, competition. But let's not get carried away. Let's go into the statistics for the USA game because that's what we're dealing with tonight. And we'll have the whole week to examine this situation. And trust me, we will examine this situation. You know how um, we do over here at Mr. Prima Vision already. All right, let's run through these stats real quick because I don't want this to be a late video or a long video because it's a late night. All right, possession USA, they didn't even shade it. It was monstrous, almost 70%, 67% to Jamaica's 33%. Total shots, they had 11, we had nine. Um, we create opportunities, like I said earlier, we just don't score them. The passes in the final third tonight were poor. Um, the number 10 was poor. Bobby Reed had a really poor night, but let's continue on the stats. Um, Blair Turgot had a poor night as well. Junior Flemings wasn't terrible. Um, but it second half faded. All right, 11 shots to nine shots, five shots on target apiece, two shots on target apiece. USA had four block shots, Jamaica had two. They had seven corners apiece. USA was offside zero times. We were outside four times. We committed 13 fouls to their 10 fouls. They had no yellow cards. We had three. Referee had a good game, by the way, in my opinion. Um, big chances created one each. Big chances missed Jamaica, missed one. They missed none. That means that them take them big chance. You know I mean, them get one big chance, they scored. We got our one big chance, a sitter, that Bobby Reed basically passed to the goalkeeper. Look, don't get me wrong, you know. I rate Bobby Reed as a player, but this game he was poor. And I will have to be fair if we're going to um, call it as we see it. You understand? And that is what we do here. Um, counter attacks, they had two, we had zero. Counter attack shots, they had two shots from those two counter attacks. We had zero because we had zero counter attacks. Shots inside the box, they had six, we had five. Shots outside the box, close again, they had five, we had four. Goalkeeper saves, they had more goalkeeper saves. Five, we had four. Um, passes, not even close, 579 to 283. That I mean, I wouldn't say it's almost double, but close. 490 accurate passes at 85% for the USA. We had 177 accurate passes at 63%. You would think it's mainly the midfield, but the midfield played a part as well as the passing in the final third was terrible. Um, long balls. 36 of 64 for the United States at 56%. That is actually decent for long balls. We are we were 25 of 69 at 36%. Crosses, they had 4 of 28 at 14%. Terrible for the United States. 4 of 18 for us at 22%. Um, as usual, our center box were not poor. Again, I think our center box were probably some of the standouts in this tournament and our goalkeeper. Um, uh, um, I definitely think we are secure there. If we are um, to go forward, we definitely need two right backs. I just got to call it as my seat tonight. We need two right back. We need one more left back. We need two central midfielders, one, one attacking midfielder, one defensive midfielder. We'll probably need two defensive midfielders. I would keep speedy in the team. Um, but we definitely need options. You know what I mean? I don't know if he's a starter, 
I don't know if Blair Turgot is a starter either, but they're definitely good for the squad. You know what I mean? All right. Um, dribbles now. They had 7 of 14 at 50%. Half the dribbles, they were successful at. We were, we were 7 of 19 at 37%. More attempts, less successful. Possession lost 155 to 164. We lost it 164. They lost 155. Terrible from both teams. It was really a bad game. Probably one of the worst games at the World Cup. I haven't watched all of them, but it was it wasn't good. Um, duels won. They won 65. We won 52. Aerial duels won. They won 26. We won 21. Tackles. They won 20. We won 14. They had 19 interceptions. We had 18. Um, they had 17 clearances. We had 24. So that's a wrap up of the stats. I'm not going to go into player ratings tonight. We will do that um, in a follow in a follow up video. Um, my final thoughts, because I'm just keeping this one really short tonight. I don't I don't want to do the angry video. You know what I mean? Um, but really, though, on a whole, it, it's this game was just a reflection of how we performed in the whole tournament. It's a reflection of the first game where where we had a. Um, the team played decent in the first half and came out in the second half and did absolutely nothing. We have not played a full 90 minutes of football this whole tournament. Um, we were not as disjointed as we were in the first two games, but still could not finish our chances. You know what I mean? Um, this was always going to be a tougher game than the first three games and we failed to adjust. So we... Um, we we'll take this this disappointment and we we'll move on. But I say this: if we are supposed to qualify for the World Cup, we're going to need more than this. Um, the coach, the coach, have to take a look at themselves. JFF have to take a look at themselves. Some of the members of the team have to take a look at themselves. You know what I mean? Um, the fans deserve better. You know what I mean? So pull up on the socks, point blank. Leave your thoughts and your comments in the comment section. Remember, like and subscribe, guys. We're trying to grow this channel. You know what I mean? Um, I'll see you next time.